Hey everyone, it's Selena here. Okay, so I wanted to do a short tutorial on a, a question that was asked on the Cricut Design Space Facebook group. Um, let me just apologize right now if you hear my toddler behind me or you hear his cartoon that he's watching. It's the only way that I can get him to um, not distract me. Um, okay, so anyways, I'm going to pull up the picture um, on, that was asked on the um, Facebook group. <clears throat> so she was trying to attempt to slice the words on a heart. It was it looks like a broken heart and it's going to say best friends. And this is the error message that she was getting. So it's saying one of the image contains an open path. Weld operation can't be performed on these set of images. Um, and so what she was trying to do is take the word which is this top layer. It's kind of hard for you to see but I'm going to draw this one here and then this one here. And um, this message is only, it only appears really whenever you're trying to weld, which is uh, the command right here. Um, and so for this, this um, particular thing that you're trying to do, you wouldn't be using weld, you're going to be using slice. So let's get out of that. Oops. No? All right. And so I've already inserted some images so that we can um, try and recreate the example that was given. So here's a heart that I just put, um, inserted a basic shape. And there's a heart in there, so I just used that. And then I um, inserted an image, and in Design Space, I just searched, I, I did zigzag, and I just picked a zip, zigzag that I thought would work. Okay, and then I inserted some text lines in here. Um, friends is broken up in two because if we place the words where we want them, in order to, let's rearrange this, in order to see. Um, best and friends. If I were to place the words there and then do the zigzag, that zigzag is going to cut right in between those letters. And we want like B E S or B E here and S T here, and then part of the word here, part of the word here, so that nothing is sliced through the words. So what you can do is you can slice. Okay, so what we could do is we could slice the heart first and then we could see where to place the words. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, this particular image had two layers and I, um, un I ungrouped them and then I deleted one of them. Because when you're slicing, the, the image that you're using to slice needs to be one layer and then the image that you're slicing needs to be one layer. So I got rid of that other layer. And I also stretched it out because it, it originally looked like this. Or something like that and um, I stretched it out so we want to have the image that we're using um, passing that heart because if I were to try to slice from here then it's gonna also not only slice down the middle it's gonna slice that top part of the heart here so let's make sure that that image is completely covering everything and let's get these over and I'm gonna select the two and by selecting the two I just drag a box around the two items and then slice. So there's your slice down the middle. And then from there, you can kind of see where to place your words. So let's do this one. So we'd have to break this up in two. So I'm going to duplicate it. And on one of them, I'm going to delete the ST. And the other one, I'm going to delete the um, B and the E. All right. So we'll put this one here. Something like that. And then we'll do friends. Maybe something like that. This word is a little bit too big. Oh, we could do it, I guess, like that. But you want to make sure it's lined up. Let's kind of scoop these together so that we can see how it'll look once it's put together. And it was, um, the example was just a t-shirt, and it had both of the pieces, I think, ironed on. I think that looks okay. All right, so since we have 
we have two layers here. We like I said, we, we can only um, delete or excuse me, not delete. We can only slice with using um, one layer each. So let's move these out of the way. Let's move this out of the way. And let's just work with the B and the E. So I'm going to select the B and the E and I'm going to select the heart. And when I select this one, because in this case I can't drag this around here because I can't slice these two together with this because those are two layers uh, slicing into one. And so you can see that the slice isn't available. So I'm just going to select this first one here. I'm going to hold my shift key down and I'm going to also click on the heart. So that selected this one and then one piece of the heart which is down below here. So now you can see slice is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click on slice and the friends, the first part of the friends is going to disappear because it's just going to go to the back of the image. So there's one. Now I'm going to select this one. I'm going to bring it to the back so we can have that friends there. I just didn't want to move the friends because that was the position that I had it in that it looked okay. So now I'm going to take the friends, hold the shift key, select the heart, and also do a slice that. All right, so we can move that out of the way. Now let's move this one back and place this where it needs to go. Kind of line it up there. Same thing here. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. Select the S and the T, hold my shift key, select the um, heart and slice. Okay, I'm going to send this to the back so we can see where that ends is, can they? Select that one, hold the shift key, and select the heart, and slice. So nowhere in this example did I use weld. Um, you would just need, that looks kind of cool, um, you would just need the um, slice tool for this. And then we can put that back. So that's how to create the um, sliced image, sliced text out of the words. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.